Good morning here on Grand Anse Beach, guys. Apparently, I have only gold spoon. I'm gonna try it for 15 minutes. Water is cold. I have something else I want to try this morning. So I'm not gonna spend too much time with this spoon. Yeah, that's what I think why the water so dirty. Fish on! Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish on, fish on, second throw. Second throw of the morning. Fish on, fish on. Ready? Decent size. Oh no, he's swimming. Oh, he came off right there. Coco wasn't even on. Damn it. Action already, boy. That's a nice one at get away, though. A big one. Look, fish swimming right here. Like they're feeding on something right here. Okay, cool, yeah. Oh, God, it's not a big fish. Look, one, go and take it right now, eh? Okay, he didn't. I see you take out one in, right? I'm gonna use that boss. Ooh, that one I'd get away was a nice one, boy. Shucks, boy. Fish on again? What the heck is this? <laughs> I think you rod to can't catch one. Seems like a decent one. Swimming. Oh yeah. yeah! What the hell kind of fish is this? I think it's some kind of mackerel. A little bonita. Don't worry, Froggy. She wants to get a picture. It's mackerel, bonita. Keep him any water from now. You get away, you get away. Quick before you cap out. I don't even know. I think it's a little bonita. How big? Got him? Yeah. And you have a try, you have a try. Oh, yeah, he goes good. Different plan for this morning. Just to use a spoon for a couple of casts. But those couple of casts. Hook three fish already. Four actually. Or three. I don't know. Pull up two. One got away. I think two of them was that, that same type of mackerel. Swimming? Huh? You swimming? You swimming? In her. You see the fish? It is the same kind. I've never caught this fish before. 
greenish. Woo! Like a bullet. All right, guys, trying to let this young lady, aka Jenna G D Jabi, catch a fish. She stops swiping her face. <laughs> wrap up, wrap up. Calate sink. Go to the side. All right. Okay. Alright, for this one, Dojo Gear Rapid and Rapid, right? That's Rapid Street. Dojo okay? Yeah, that's Rapid Street. Sideways, yeah. Fast? Medium. That's good there, don't move your rod. That's Rapid. Steady retrieve. Yeah, something just take it. Yeah. Pull it back! Yeah, you have it, you have it. Pull back your rod in front, pull back your rod in front. No, I keep on wrapping, I keep on wrapping. Yeah, have it, oh. wrap it, wrap it. Walk out, walk out. Oh, I can't walk out. Walk out and wrap. I'll keep your rod to the side. Yeah, yeah, she has one, I believe. Let's see. I can't even go up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wrap, wrap, wrap. She has one, she has one. Let's see what it is. <laughs> it's not one of those, but it's a what nice little jack. She caught one. I don't know that. Okay, that's the picture there. <laughs> and he goes. Let's go again, they're going again. Full spoon doing it this morning guys. Even Jenna G caught one on it. Wanted to catch a mackerel because they pull in kinda hard. So I wanted to get a nice little fight. Anytime you feel something just pull it back and pull pull body rod forward, right? and the drizzle now. I really wanted to try this spoon for a couple minutes this morning. But they're biting it. Alright, let me try back. Look at something came first. Sure? Yeah. Big or small? Uh, it's raining. Huh. So are you holding it straight on the juice in it? Nah, there's a spoon, not a joke. You can joke it sometimes, but nice smooth action is all you need. Teach him. Teach him how to get the big <laughs> She's teaching me. <laughs> that was a lot of right. Let's give her another try. One mackerel is all I wanted to Artificial, you actually caught one on artificial. Where? Oh, yeah. You just catch one on artificial. I mean, not before. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time, right? You catch top one on artificial in Morocco. <laughs> Alright guys, as I was sitting here editing this video to be posted, I just wanted to take a couple of minutes, you know, just to talk about how this all unfolded. I mean, sometimes in fishing, you just get, you know, that instinct to try something different. I mean, I was throwing a gold spoon, I was getting some good action on it, but I still wanted to give that spur bucktail jig one last try. I mean, last 10 minutes of the fishing trip, last 10 minutes of fishing, and you know, somebody was just telling me, just put it on and try it and see if you can hook something bigger. Now, and the other thing is, sometimes in fishing, when a fish is for you, a fish is for you. You're just in the right place at the right time, and you're right hook up. Somebody could be going to a spot for, for years, upon years, and probably never catch a certain species of fish, and you go one day, make a cast, and boom, uh, you just catch the fish of your life. So those things happen from time to time in fishing, but again, it always happens because 
of something you as a fisherman would do. In this case, I made the decision to switch from the spoon to the bucktail jig uh, in the hope of catching something bigger and it, it, it worked out. Now, I don't think I'll ever catch a bonefish this size again in my life. I think it will be, this will definitely be my personal best, for, if not for ever, for a long time to come. And you know the title of the video, I was going to name it Biggest Bonefish Ever Caught in Grenada. But if you're from Grenada and you have seen bigger than this, please feel free to comment below. I'll be happy to be <laughs> corrected. I just did some Google research as well. I didn't see anything with regards to bonefish in, in Grenada other than that. And again, if it, what I caught it on was this right here. This is the Spro Bucktail Jig, quarter ounce. This is my new everything go-to law. This is what the same kind of law that I caught the tuna with on the rig strip, but it was a one ounce I was using. So I scaled down to the quarter ounce. There was no leader, straight attach. I think it's 12 or 15 pound test I had on that reel. Straight attach, uni nut like I always use, and it held up perfectly. And this is what got the big bone fish. So I just want to interject here at this point in the, in the video just to, to give a background on the story and how things unfolded. Now let's get back to the fishing and enjoy my biggest bonefish catch of my life. Twenty past seven, guys. Last ten, such to fifteen minutes. Going back to the spro, potongs, bucktail jig. Let's see if I can entice something a little bigger. I'm gonna put back on the spoon, but I think with this I have a chance of catching something bigger. Maybe if I had a half ounce would have been perfect. Is that a fish? Yeah, nice fish. See what it is? It's definitely the hardest fighting fish up. Hook, I have no leader on. This could be a good fish. I don't know. I don't have any leader. Hope I hooked it to the corner of the mouth. Come on, fish. Whatever you are. I've not seen it. Oh my goodness! It's a big bone fish. Get camera if I get it up. <laughs> Guys. Whoa. Let's get, get a quick picture. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at the size of this one. Did you hear him? Yeah. Huge bonefish. Biggest one I've ever caught. Really nice fish. We release him.
Leave that guys. That bone fish took this quarter ounce spro bucktail and made a parallel cast to the side right there. As soon as it dropped, I jigged it and I felt a weight. I couldn't believe it was a fish. I am shaking. That made my trip and a half. Whew. You don't get bone fish that big. No leader. 15 pound test. Casking Sharky tree. Four piece travel rod. Monster bonefish. That is crazy. I was really worried with no leader. I guess no leader helped as well. Bonefish are very finicky creatures. Ready? I don't think I ever topped that in any trips here. <laughs> Okay guys, that was my most amazing catch from a beach anywhere in the world in Grenada by far took this quarter ounce spro bucktail that bonefish was massive I've never seen a big bonefish like that in real the fight was unreal casking is a strong reel, cheap reel but it was an amazing catch I mean, I just put on this no leader 15 pound test just to try to get something bigger wasn't expecting a bonefish Man, that was awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me catch it. As always, thanks for watching another episode of Coast Sam Fishing. Keep fishing, get into the outdoors, fish on. We have a come green enough, come to Spice Land Mall and get a punch on this place. Here to foods. Hello. Good day. You have some more sun oats? Can I have one, please? Real nice one.